Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be modeling equivalent fractions. So in other words, we'll be visualizing or seeing what equivalent fractions look like. And remember, equivalent fractions are different fractions, but they have the same value. So let's jump right into number one, where we have two rectangles that are the exact same size, but they're cut into a different amount of pieces. So the top rectangle is cut into fourths. And the fraction we're going to start with is 3 fourths. So let's model 3 fourths. This would be 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and finally 3 fourths. So that top rectangle represents 3 fourths. Now we need to create an equivalent fraction with that bottom rectangle which is cut into eighths. So we need to fill it in the same exact amount. So for example, if we filled it in one eighth, would we be filled in the same exact amount as the top rectangle? No, so let's keep going. Two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, getting closer, five eighths, and six eighths. And we can see that they're filled in the same exact amount here. So the equivalent fraction is six eighths. Now we modeled those equivalent fractions. Now in order to find equivalent fractions, you don't have to draw a model every time. I dropped a link to the video where I explain how to find equivalent fractions without models down in the description. But again, this video is about visualizing and seeing what equivalent fractions look like. So let's take a look at number two, where we have two circles that are the same exact size, but cut into a different amount of pieces. So the first circle on the left is cut into three pieces or thirds. So let's fill in one of those pieces and that will represent one third. So we just modeled one third. And the circle on the right is cut into six pieces, so sixths. Let's fill in one out of six to see if we get an equivalent amount of space filled in and therefore an equivalent fraction. Not quite, so let's fill in two sixths or two pieces out of six there. And that's more like it. We have an equivalent amount of space filled in and therefore an equivalent fraction. So one third is equivalent to two sixths. So there you have it. There's how you model equivalent fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.